Hey guys, I'm Kel Williamson, and thanks so much for watching. Today I'm going to take a closer look at a heated eyelash curler. So if this is something you'd like to see in action, please keep on watching. If you're new to my channel and you're into anything really to do within the beauty and cosmetics world, I would love for you to subscribe and hang out a while. And if you guys don't mind, please give me a thumbs up because it really does help me in the algorithm. Alright guys, we're going to just jump right in. Sorry I've been so MIA. I've had my five-year-old grandson here with me, and if anyone knows anything about a five-year-old, you know they're very time-consuming. So that's why I've been a little MIA. I hope to um, really get back into the swing of things soon. So, we'll see. I'm a basket case with a five-year-old these days. So if you hear anything in the background... It's Carter. Anyways, guys, I had an Amazon seller reach out and sent over this BUV Advanced Heated Curl Eyelash Curler Kit. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know a while back I did do a review on another eyelash curler kit, Heated. And I gotta say that I'm really a fan of the Heated line. So... Um, just at first glance, this is what the box looks like. Gives you a little bit of directions on the back. If I can get it set up straight. Um, just your plain little unicorn, unit carton to get product over to you. So when you open it up, it is set down in its own little thing here. Case, whatnot. You get a little pamphlet. You get some instructions. It is rechargeable, which is a plus. I think the other one was battery powered. This is a game changer. And a cleaning brush, which again, the other one did not have. And then this is what the component looks like. If you guys can see that. This tip end is metal. This is plastic. You got your charging port at the bottom. And you have two different size, or not size, but two different heating, high, low type thing. And the low being at 65. I don't know if you guys can see that. And the high being at 85. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and get it started. If you guys can see, I don't... There it is, 65, 85. It automatically turns on at 65, but being the daredevil I am, we're going to go to 85, and we're going to let this heat up. The way that you know that it heats up is the tip end will turn white, as well as these three, uh, what do you call it, windows maybe? So upon the directions, it says to apply... A coat of mascara and then curl so I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna apply my favorite mascara which is the roller lash I'm gonna do one eye at a time so you guys can really see this thing in action Okay. And also, I want to add that this does have an automatic shut off. So, when you're done curling, if you just set it and got busy, um, it will shut off on its own. So, here we go. It says go from root to tip. You guys can see it's already curling it. It is a quick little thing. And move. I, how I'd like to do it is go from root to tip, but in a slow, so that way it really grabs and curls, if you guys can see. A little bit of curl. I don't know how to, to show you guys that it is curling. I can see it very well here in my mirror now I don't 
I let me look and see if it tells you. I think it says to put mascara, then brush it out. Let me see if I got a spoolie here. Well, I don't have a spoolie, but I do have a brush. Let's try the brush. I'm just flicking it up. You guys see that? I'm sure you can. I can't look up and know that I, you guys can see, so I'm just going by an intuition here. And then it says to apply another coat of mascara once you've done curling. That beep you just heard, was it shutting off? So I'm going to turn it back on so we can do the other eye. It does have a, a fast heating time too as well, so you guys. Or, you guys see that. I love it. Alright, let's do the other eye real quick. It looks really, really well. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on my bottom lashes, too. I only put mascara on the bottom lashes on the outer corner. I never put in here. To me, it just elongates the eye a little. Maybe opens it up. I don't know. That's just been my preference here lately. I love it. All right, we're going to do the other eye right quick. You can feel the warmth from, from the brush or the tool, but it's really not enough to burn you. Does that make sense? It is warm. How many of you do this when you do your, your lashes? <laughs> I think it's a habit we get into. It's... The reason we always started it is because, to us, it opened the eye a little more, but really not. It was habit. See me still doing it? All right, I'm going to brush it. Second coat of mascara. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And the outer ring. Alright guys, so that's the lashes done. I love it. I also do think... Um, I think that the... Them sending over a cleaning brush to go with it really helps to keep everything really clean. Um, it doesn't say if you can use a damp sponge. It doesn't say about cleaning. Usually some um, components will really tell you how to take care of it and clean it. I'm going to assume that it would not hurt to use a damp cloth in cleaning it if you wanted to and it not hurt it but the the fact that it does have a little brush to brush off any extra mascara that may be left behind is a nice finishing touch now they do say that you can take this and push your lashes up Um, and I'm guessing this would stay cool to take the heat away from your lashes and let them go ahead. You know, like whenever you are, when you use hot tools in your hair and you straighten your hair or even curling it, once the heat leaves, then you can really lock and set your curl or even if it's straight. 
and the taking the heat away from it really leaves your hair where it was when it was at its most heated time. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm going to assume that's what this is about, and it does the same. Takes that heat away, so that way it really locks and stays in place. But overall, I, I do really like these tools. I had another one. This one by far blows that other one away. So if you guys are interested in getting one of these, I will link it down below and show you where to get yours. I am going to try to link it into my Amazon store so you guys can get it from there easy. But if for some reason that it sells out or, or is out of stock, you can just search it online. I'll try to leave it linked down below and uh, get yours. Like I said, I am... I really do like these type of tools. I always have. I, I did. I like the first one, but the first one had some flaws, which cleaning was an issue, and then charging. If you didn't have a battery, well, with this one being rechargeable and it comes with a brush, that eliminates those said problems that it would have had, or my marks against. All right, me. guys, that's going to do it for me and the heated eyelash curler tutorial slash review. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe, and I will see all you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.